St. Basil's Church on the campus of the University of St. Michael's College in downtown Toronto, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents Daily Mass. The televising of today's Mass is made possible by a contribution from two donors. The first is a parishioner at St. Joseph Parish in Kingston, Ontario. She offers this Mass in memory of her husband and for the living and deceased members of their family and for world peace. The second is a parishioner from St. Monica's Parish in Toronto, Ontario. She offers this Mass for the living and deceased members of her family and in thanksgiving for the blessings and favours received. On behalf of all the faithful across Canada gathered for this celebration, we thank you both in Kingston and Toronto. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you. My friends, we gather for the celebration of the Eucharist. As we begin, let us call to mind our sins, and let us ask God for his pardon and his peace. You were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty God, our hope and our strength, without you we falter. Help us to follow Christ and to live according to your will. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the second book of Samuel. A messenger came to David, saying, The hearts of the Israelites have gone off to Absalom. Then David said to all his officials who were with him at Jerusalem, Get up, let us flee, or there will be no escape for us from Absalom. Hurry, or he will soon overtake us and bring disaster down upon us, and attack the city with the edge of the sword. But David went up the ascent of the Mount of Olives, weeping as he went with his head covered and walking barefoot. And all the people who were with him covered their heads and went up, weeping as they went. When King David came to Baharum, a man of the family of the house of Saul came out whose name was Shemai, son of Jerah. He came out cursing. He threw stones at David and at all the servants of King David. Now all the people and all the warriors were on his right and on his left. Shimei shouted while he cursed, out, out, murderer, scoundrel. The Lord has avenged on all of you the blood of the house of Saul, in whose place you have reigned. And the Lord has given the kingdom into the hand of your son Absalom. See, disaster has overtaken you, for you are a man of blood. Then Abishai, son of Zeruiah, said to the king, Why should this dead dog curse my lord and king? Let me go over and take off his head. But the king said, What do I have to do with you, you sons of Zeruiah? If he is cursing because the lord has said to him, Curse David, who then shall say, Why have you done so? David said to Abishai and to all his servants, My own son seeks my life. How much more now may this Benjaminite? Let him alone and let him curse, for the Lord has bidden him. It may be that the Lord will look upon my distress, and the Lord will repay me with good for this cursing of me today. So David and his men went on the road. The word of the Lord. Lord, rise up and save me. Lord, rise up and save me. Many are 
saying to me, there is no help for you in God. Lord, rise up and say. But you, O oh Lord, are a shield around me, my glory and the one who lifts up my head. I cry aloud to the Lord, and he answers me from his home. sleep I awake again for the Lord sustained me I am not afraid of ten thousands of people who have set themselves against me all around Lord rise up Save me. Alleluia. Alleluia. A great prophet has appeared among us. God has visited his people. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus and the disciples came to the other side of the sea, to the country of the Gerasenes. And when they had stepped off the boat, immediately a man out of the tombs with an unclean spirit met him. He lived among the tombs, and no one could restrain him any more, even with a chain. For he had been, re been restrained with shackles and chains, but the chains he wrenched apart, and the shackles he broke in pieces. And no one had the strength to subdue him. Night and day among the tombs and on the mountains, he was always howling and bruising himself with stones. When he saw Jesus from a distance, he ran and bowed down before him, and he shouted at the top of his voice, What have you to do with me, Jesus, Son of the Most High God? I adjure you by God, do not torment me. For he had said to him, Come out of the man, you unclean spirit. Then Jesus asked him, What is your name? He replied, My name is Legion, for we are many. He begged him earnestly not to send them out of the country. Now there on the hillside a great herd of swine was feeding, and the unclean spirits begged him, Send us into the swine, let us enter them. So he gave them permission. And the unclean spirits came out and entered the swine, and the herd, numbering about two thousand, rushed down the steep bank into the sea and were drowned in the water. The swineherds ran off and told it in the city and in the country. Then people came to see what it was that had happened. They came to Jesus and saw the demoniac sitting there, clothed and in his right mind, the very man who had legion, and they were afraid. Those he had seen what had happened to the demoniac and to the swine reported it. Then they began to beg Jesus to leave their neighborhood as he was getting into the boat, the man who had been possessed by demons begged him that he might be with him. But Jesus refused and said to him, Go home to your friends and tell them how much the Lord has done for you and what mercy he has shown you. And he went away and began to proclaim in the Decapolis how much Jesus had done for him. And everyone was amazed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise. 